Hi, I'm glad you're joining me for another devotional reading. We start as usual with the scripture. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Psalm 103, verse 19. Some time ago, as I went out my door in the early spring, a blast of easterly wind rounded the corner. It seemed defiant and merciless and was fierce and dry, raising a cloud of dust ahead of it. As I removed the key from the door, I quite impatiently began to say, I wish the wind would. What I was about to say was change, but my thought was stopped and the sentence was never finished. As I continued on my way, this incident became a parable for me. I imagined an angel handing me a key and saying, My master sends you his love and asked me to give you this. Wondering, I asked, What is it? It is the key to the winds, the angel said, and then disappeared. My first thought was, This indeed will bring me happiness. So I hurried high into the hills to the source of the winds and stopped amid the caves. I proclaimed, I will do away with the terrible east wind. It will never plague us again. I summoned that unfriendly wind to me, closed the door behind it, and heard it echoing through the hollow caves. As I turned the key, triumphantly locking it in, I said, There, I am finished with that. Then, looking around me, I asked myself, What should I put in its place next? I thought of the warm southerly wind and how pleasant it must be to newborn lambs and new flowers and plants of all kinds. But as I put the key in the door, it began to burn my hand. I cried aloud, What am I doing? Who knows what a damage I may cause? How do I know what the fields want and need? Ten thousand problems may result from this foolish wish of mine. Bewildered and ashamed, I looked up and asked the Lord to send his angel to take away the key. Then I promised I would never ask for it again. To my amazement, the Lord himself came and stood beside me. He stretched out his hand to take the key. As I placed it there, I saw it touch that sacred scar. I was filled with remorse as I wondered how I could ever have complained about anything done by him who bore such sacred signs of his love. Then he took the key and hung it on his belt. I asked, do you know the key to the winds? Do you keep it? I do, my child, he graciously answered. And as he spoke, I noticed that all the keys to my life were hanging there as well. He saw my look of amazement and asked, did you know, dear child, that my kingdom rules over all? If you rule over all, I questioned, is it safe to complain about anything? Then tenderly he laid his hand upon me to say, my child, your only safety comes from loving, trusting, and praising me through everything. Our Heavenly Father holds the keys to everything in our life and we can trust him with it.